Vanessa and today I'll be making chicken curry. It's my own version of a chicken curry. It's not your traditional chicken curry. It is a creamy chicken curry. Your ingredients for four to six people will include about three pounds of chicken, two quarts of heavy whipping cream. I use some non-stick spray to coat the bottom of my pan for your seasonings, salt, pepper, curry powder, a little onion powder and a little garlic powder and I like to serve this with rice. For the chicken I like to use some chicken breast. First thing I do is trim the fat off of it. As much fat because I like a nice lean piece of meat. Watch your fingers. And then I will cube the chicken. Not too big. If you can find some uh, chicken that's already cut up for stir fry, for instance, you could or you could use that one also. Let's get started. Spray the bottom of your frying pan with some nonstick spray. Do that while your flame is off for safety reasons. Then turn on your flame to high. Let that get nice and hot, and we'll saute the chicken in just a minute. So as the oil heats up, I start my water for my rice. I start that on high so it could get to a boil when we're about ready here. And now it's time to saute the chicken. So put your chicken in. Give it a quick seasoning with some salt. Pepper, I like to add a little onion powder and a little garlic powder for taste. Stir that up, keep it going. As you toss it, season the other side the same way. Saute your meat till it's nice and cooked and just golden brown. As your chicken is almost brown and cooked, I add some curry powder and I sprinkle it all over the chicken to infuse it with flavor. Give it a nice quick stir. And we'll get to our next step in a couple of minutes. This is only good for about two minutes just to give it some flavor infusion and some color. Now that your chicken has sauteed for an extra two minutes with curry powder all over it, we are going to add our heavy whipping cream. I happen to like a lot of sauce so I use about a quart and a half to two quarts of heavy whipping cream. And I will then season the heavy cream with salt, pepper, and curry powder to give it more color, turn it a nice yellow. And you could reduce your flame as it starts to cook again you can reduce your flame to probably medium, medium fire. Okay. Our curry has been simmering for about 10 minutes and I added about three to four tablespoons of curry powder uh, before which is what gives it this nice yellow color and as it simmers it also thickens our cream so be sure to toss it and we probably should be tasting this to find out if it needs any adjustment in the seasoning. All right here we go. I think this needs a little bit of salt for my personal taste and I also like a nice curry taste so I'll add another half a tablespoon of curry. Stir that all in, 
Give it about five minutes and taste it again. In the meantime, you can start cooking your rice because your water should be just about boiling right now. It's been about five minutes since we've adjusted our seasoning. I had a chance to put my rice to cook. And let me taste this. Use a new spoon, clean spoon, no double dipping. Very good. Your rice is cooked, your curry is ready. So now we're going to plate this and make it look nice and pretty. The way I like to do that is I like to build a little crown around the plate and put my curry in the middle so it looks real nice. And then you can mix it in at the table. So there's the rice. Add your curry to the center. Yeah, doesn't that look nice? Let's go and put a little more sauce and let's go taste this. So here it is, our creamy chicken curry. I'm pairing this with a nice cold chardonnay today. There are another two additional ingredients you can add to your dish, which are, I happen to like pineapple, and some bananas. Stir that in, mix your rice with it, and give it a good taste and see how you like it. Let's see. I love this dish. Till next time, bon appétit.